Now here's how I do my line inside my boat and where I'm traveling. And I like to have a good mix of line. And now this is main line. This will be to fill my entire spool up uh, in a fishing situation in comparison to, I'll have like a small little bag that we'll show you later on that'll have leader line in there, you know, like seven and 10 pound line that I'm gonna be tying to a spinning rod or something along those lines. But uh, I like to use these bigger bulk spools to really allow me to maximize the key spools of line, the key uh, sizes of line that I'm going to use while I'm out on the out on the water a lot. And the other ones I just don't, you know, I don't use, so I don't even carry those around a lot. But you know, like a 40 pound SX1 right here, that's a, a pretty popular size line for me in a lot of different situations. Uh, these two sizes of the braided line right here, the 18 and the 20 are what a lot of times you'll see me use on my main line and my spinning rods. And then I will have like a 10 pound FC sniper or a leader line as, as, much, as small as seven uh, tied to a lot of these. And so I'll bulk spool a lot of this inside my uh, bag right here. And this, a couple things I think this does, it keeps it organized. We all know that line, when you're traveling a lot of times, it just blows up and, and spins off the spools while you're in different situations. But this way, uh, everything is nice and secure. Got straps in there to keep keep everything in, in place. And it's all in one spot, so it's not rolling around in the bottom of your boat, uh, getting damaged. And when I'm not using my boat for an extended period of time, I can take this out, store it inside because I don't want I don't like my line getting exposed to extreme heat a lot of times, which can happen while you're, you know, storing your boat. And this gives me a great way to grab it, put it inside, throw it back in the boat when I'm ready to go fishing.